Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of One on One with Dr. Brooks. I'm Lewis Brooks, superintendent of Shelby County Schools, and I'm here on the south end of Shelby County today at Calera High School. And I'm really excited this morning to uh, speak to a young lady that is incredibly talented, um, and certainly some of the things that are in her future, everyone here in Shelby County and certainly Calera is excited about. So I'd like to introduce you all this morning to senior at Calera High School, Jordan Bray. Jordan, how are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining yes, me. Sir, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. So if I can share with you all, Jordan just recently signed a track scholarship to the University of Alabama. It's a phenomenal, a phenomenal event. I got to meet her parents and some of her friends and family who are all here supporting her. So we're excited about um, her future as um, a track athlete at the University of Alabama. So Jordan, if you will, just tell us how long you've been running track. Um, and in many respects, how did when did you know you had a special talent? Well, I started running track when I was six years old. And um, before track, it started off as softball. And I kind of knew from the beginning that I had a talent because of how fast everyone would talk about me running around the bases. Yeah. So just starting off being um, my first year um, ever running track, being invited to the Junior Olympics, I just knew from the start it would be something. Awesome. Yes. So um, I hear lots of stories about you pulling tires in your neighborhood <laughs> when you were young and <laughs> and um, practicing and working on your craft, but what do you feel like um, has been your greatest motivation to work on your skills? Um, I feel like my greatest motivation definitely has been my dad. Yeah. Um, the name, the last name Bray just holds so much weight. I feel like I needed to always, you know, like live up to it. Sure. So having my dad definitely was my greatest motivation. That's awesome. And yeah. I love the fact that you talked about your name. I know um, my parents always talked about how important your name yes, was and how you needed to represent yourself well. So I'm sure your dad will be proud of that yes, for sure. Thank you. Um, so you're going to Alabama. That's a real time. Uh, yeah. Um, but you you actually had a lot of D1 interest. So yes, um, why Tuscaloosa? Um, really, um, the coach, um, well, he's a new coach. So really, um, getting underneath his wings would be like something incredible for me. Um, I know I had like a lot of different schools to choose from, but the coach was really what stood out for me at Tuscaloosa. So, sure. so being in town, like still like right down the street, it's a little bit different, but I think it's definitely going to be something. Sure. Yes, sir. Well, and then that puts you in a position. I know you had have, have a lot of coaching support yes, sir, from definitely. your school, from your um, other then you uh, yes. avenues that you've run, run track. So I know um, that everyone will enjoy coming to see you. Yes, so, um, so let's talk a li little bit about Calera High School. When you think about being a senior and graduating, what will you remember most about your time here at Calera High School? Well, I've been going to Calera since like preschool, like the very beginning, elementary school, mm -hmm. all the way up until twelfth grade. Um, I feel like the most memorable. That's actually a really hard question. Um, well, you have some great teachers. Yeah, I, I do know have, that I have love had you a lot of great teachers. Coaches that have poured into you, so. Um, probably like the track experience. It has to be sure. track. Um, sure. My seventh grade year, um, I was able to run varsity. So I feel like that was like the most memorable moment out sure. of everything. Yeah, and I can recall the conversation about you as a seventh grader, just being so mature uh, just, and all that. So yes, you've won state championships. Yes, sir. Tell us how many. Um, I've won seven state championships, um, six in the 400, and recently um, outdoor 800 meter. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, sir. Um, so do you indoor, outdoor? Um, Tell us what's your... So, uh, okay. So outdoor, I'm undefeated in the 400. So I feel like... And then like outdoor is like a bigger environment because sure. like everyone from the state's coming down. Usually in indoor, not many people travel to... Um, I guess since it's like so early, not many people travel to indoor state, but outdoor is where everyone is. So sure. it's just like the environment. Yeah, yeah. it's a huge event yes, when those track is. meets are being put on yes, for sir. sure. Um, I know you mentioned your dad... Talk about some other individuals that you feel like 
are inspirational to you? Um, definitely my mom, my yeah. grandparents always, um, most of all of my coaches, um, just really the people that I surround myself with are really inspirational, motivational. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good deal. Good deal. Um, can you um, just recall a moment where you um, had an interaction or with a teacher or a coach that you feel like we, you will always remember? That's a tough one as well. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's so many, like so much has sure. taken place throughout my little journey. I feel like all interactions were like good interactions. Yeah. Um, well, everyone probably, oh. I heard spoke so highly of oh, you. Thank so. you. Yeah. Um, probably um, my eighth grade year, um, Coach Marcus. Um, she was a coach at yeah. the high school. Um, I had just got done with, I believe it was a 400, and I like cried and cried <laughs> because I didn't yeah. win. And um, she was just like telling me like it's gonna be okay, like this is not the end of the world, and if in fact was not. Yeah. Um, but that moment, I realized like she was moving past like the coaching state, and she kind of felt like a mom at least. Sure. Yes, sir. So sure. yeah, it was probably. Yeah, I love Coach Marcus. Yes, I, sir, I actually knew her when she was an eighth <laughs> grader. Yeah, known her yes, family sir. for quite some yes, time. Sir. So, all right. Well, Jordan, I got a few like rapid fire <laughs> questions. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir, I'm ready. All right. What is your favorite running day meal? My favorite running day meal has to be pasta. Okay. Olive Garden. Um, Chicken Alfredo. All right. Yes, okay. Sir. Sounds good. All right. The song that gets you hyped and ready to compete. <laughs> That's rapid. Um, <laughs> I really, I don't even know. Yeah. I don't even, let me think. Um, I actually have no idea. Because I, I try to listen to music, but I find myself listening to music. I feel like I get a little bit too relaxed. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. hard to like, you know. Between the two. Um, so you just try to stay focused. Yes, I try to stay focused as yeah. much as I can. Yeah, I got it. Okay. That might be a bad question. <laughs> no, it's okay. not. Like, everyone usually listens to music to help them. Like, sure. But me, I like I cannot. All right. All right. So here's here's my last rapid fire yes. question. Shikari, Richard, Shikari Richardson or Sharika Jackson? Um, I'm going to have to go with Shikari. Okay. It's she's went through too much. Yeah. I have to go with her. Yes, sir. Sure. Sure. Yes, sir. Well, good deal. Well, Jordan, thank you so much yes, for sir. joining thank us on one on one. We are so excited about you and your future and can't wait to see how things go for you in Tuscaloosa. But we're just really proud of what you've accomplished and all the things that you've done yes, from the time you were very young. It's all come to come to this great moment and i know everyone's really proud of yes, you sir. so thank you thank, thank you, you for being here okay? <laughs> thank you again for having me absolutely and to everyone in shelby county thank you so much for joining us again we're we're really just proud of what jordan has done and certainly we're excited for her future and we know all too well that she's going to represent shelby county schools and calera high school in the best way as she makes her way to tuscaloosa next year so um, again, thank you so much for joining this podcast, and we look forward to seeing you again and sharing another great student with you on One on One with Dr. Brooks. Take care.